Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So it has been such a long time since we have done any type of live stream. Can you let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay? I've got a slightly different setup and I'm not sure whether the chat is going to come through or not. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get the chat up. Let me see. Okay. I don't know if the chat's going to come up or not. Uh, all messages be visible. Okay. All right. So I think that the chat is on. I'm not 100% certain. I maybe should have set my computer up so I could go with that as chat does tend to go really quickly can you let me know if you can hear me in the chat right now there's no chat coming up so i'm not sure if it's working or not let me just take a look um, all messages visible let's see if that works okay hopefully that's gonna work yeah, I think that might be it. I'm not quite sure. I still don't see any chat coming up, so I'm not sure if I've got that right or not. I'm just going to go on here and see if I can get it to come up on here. Because it doesn't seem to be uh, coming up on that. So, Oh, there we go. It started coming through. All right, okay, we figured it out. It has started coming through. So hi, Riley, and hi, Sandy. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I am going to be showing you in a little while our new pet. I am going to wait for a little while um, for more people to come in, and then we can introduce her to you. Uh, it's been such a long time since we've live streamed and done anything or done any videos for that matter. So I thought that rather than just do a video, then I would actually do a uh, introduction and then obviously I can also explain why we chose her and um, and all that good stuff. So how's everybody doing uh, with all the uh, quarantining? Um, I hope that you're all staying safe and sane for that matter. Um, I hope that that's all going well for you. Let me know in the chat what you guys have been doing, um, whether you're able to work or not. Thankfully, we have been able to keep Life With Pets going in our store. Um, we've been able to do it at home, so so that's good um, because uh, we managed to bring a load of dividers home and we've been able to do everything from home, uh, packing and shipping and everything. So thankfully, we've been able to keep going. Um, I keep losing the chat. Ugh. Oh, there we go. I think that's just done it now. So... Um, O'Reilly, I started breeding guppies. Yeah, guppies are fun to work with for sure. They are um, easy to breed, let's put it that way, easy to breed. Um, and they're definitely fun. Um, we have, we only have two tanks right now and both of them have got so many guppies in because right now we're not shipping. Um, just simply because shipping is so erratic that we don't want to risk them. So. Oh, this chat's going to be such a pain. Uh, I'm going stir crazy, painting several walls in my house on rainy days and building a large veggie gar garden on sunny days. What are you planting in your veggie garden? Um, oh, I wish this chat would stay on. It doesn't seem to want to stay on, so it just completely vanishes. Uh, I love be breeding beta fish. They're so cu they are so cute. Yeah, we've only done it though once, and I don't think it's probably something that we will do again, um, but I will never say never, but I don't think it's something that we will actually do again. Oh, hi, Dolphin Cutie World. I think I've just sent you a, a message or I replied to one of your comments on Instagram. So those of you that follow me on Instagram will already know what this new pet is because we did actually introduce her yesterday. So... For those of you that um, follow us over there, then you are already going to know what she is. Um, and I actually did a poll on uh, YouTube today, which I thought was quite interesting. Let me go and I'll get the results. So I did a, a poll today to ask what you thought the pet was going to be. And the options were puppy, more fish, kitten, leopard, ge leopard gecko, 
or none of the above. And so puppy was 13%, uh, more fish was 23%, Kitten was 16% and leopard gecko was 45% and then none of the above was 3% um, and I just think that well the 45% of you are going to be so disappointed because it is not a leopard gecko so you guys are going to be disappointed um, it is not a leopard gecko it is a pet that I never ever thought that we would get um, because I am extremely allergic and so I didn't think that there was an option available and so um, I it's something that we've never really looked into but uh, over the last six eight months we started doing a lot of research into uh, getting a new pet because as many of you know uh, we did have four dogs and then obviously we went down to three and then two and now we've just got the one and we have gone a year and a half since the loss of our last one and we decided that we were ready for a new pet but we didn't want a puppy so now we are left with <laughs> more fish or a kitten um, and so uh, we didn't want a puppy we just felt that right now the puppy wouldn't suit our lifestyle and so um, we decided to go with another one and a, a different pet and so we went with a kitten and so I will uh, bring her in in a few minutes so that you can all get to meet her uh, like I said it was a pet that I did not think at all that we would ever be able to have because like I say I have extreme allergies to cats and I also have um, a cat allergy induced asthma as well but we did an awful lot of research um, I, like I say I've spent months and months and months researching and um, we came up with a cat that is supposedly hypoallergenic um, a bit like you know sort of like um, people that have asthma very often can or allergies can very often manage with like poodles and shih tzus and non-shedding breeds and the de uh, the kitten is supposed to be um, a uh, basically a poodle in a kitten's body for want of a description and so um, we decided that we worked with a breeder and we had to go on a waiting list because they're very very difficult to find um, it is not a cat that you would find in a shelter they are very rare and we decided that we would give it a go because my son is cat crazy and we've always really loved cats um, but like I say it's just something that we thought we'd never be able to have and so we um, we fell in love with this little girl and we brought her home uh, on Saturday and I have to say she is absolutely adorable so I'm going to have them bring her in now and um, she's just in the other room she's never been in this room so I don't know what she's going to be like with having I say the allergies I've not had any reaction to it whatsoever I have been taking allergy medication which normally wouldn't make any difference with cats for me but I've had no issue whatsoever with her so either I'm not allergic at all or the allergy medication is doing its thing I'm not really sure yet which it is but um, in the mornings I tend to go without the pill and I'm fine so I do think it is I'm just totally not allergic to her here she comes here she comes like I say I don't know how she's going to react in here um, because she's oh she's very playful apparently now here she is here she is I did a poll on um, I did a question on Instagram to what is she oh Nisi you're on a wait list oh that's fantastic let me tell you I never thought I could bond with a cat or I would do well with a cat I know I know you have to say hi to the peoples you have to say hi to the peoples um but I absolutely adore her um she is so affectionate playful obviously beyond belief um, and like I say she's not been in this room because we've been trying to keep it cat free this is our bedroom um, so she is going to want to explore all over the place but yeah she is an absolute sweetheart she just wants to cuddle all the time and she's so affectionate 
Um, a lot of people think that she is a sphinx uh, because of the ears and she has, I don't know whether it really shows, but she has a very like poodle like coat. Uh, it's virtually non-shedding, which obviously is um, a, a plus, um, especially with allergies, although it's not the coat that you're actually allergic to, it's the, um, the proteins in the saliva. But I'm sorry if you keep getting tail here. <laughs> she's been a live wire. She was asleep for a while and now she's not long woken up. So she's ready to play, aren't you? You're ready to play, but you're not playing in here. I know, I know. James, do you want to just come and get her? I'll go let them take her out and then she can run around. So say bye to the peeps. Say bye to the peeps. So that's her. If you want to see more on her, um, we did do a lot of posts on um, Instagram, basically because um, my phone is literally overtaken with cat <laughs> photographs and video and all that good stuff. So um, I never thought I was a cat person because I'm a dog person, but intelligent cats are amazing at changing a person's mind. Oh, I, I cannot even begin to articulate the, the way I feel about it. I, I've, we've had dogs for 26 years and I never, ever thought I could be without a dog, ever. And we're down to our last one. Is she a Cornish Rex? No, she's the Devon Rex. Uh, they're very, very similar, um, but they're not, they're not quite the same. The coat's somewhat different. Um, but yeah, she's the Devon. And uh, yeah, so I, I just thought that uh, I could never be without a dog. And uh, because we've had dogs, we've done, uh, dogs have been our life, basically and I just thought I could never be without a dog but we just feel that you know where we are right now with what is sort of going on with our life that a dog was not an option um, at this point and so we were sort of looking at what would fit our lifestyle uh, better and cat kept coming up and like I say my husband well my husband and my son are cat crazy and so that's when we decided to do the research and i'm just oh, i'm so thrilled with her she is just so wonderful so so wonderful so affectionate they're supposed to be extremely intelligent uh, very um human they want to be with their human all the time and that is definitely the case she's very vocal she talks to you all the time it's so adorable um, she came litter train so we've had no issues there at all she's not gone after furniture I mean we've got her a lot of like scratching posts and all that sort of stuff but um, she's oh she's just absolutely adorable so I would definitely now say that I am a dog and a cat person oh I'm not sure what's just happened there okay let's get this chat up because it keeps vanishing all right let's see i'm not a cat person but she looks so beautiful well thank you a lot of people think she looks very odd and you know they have some very not nice things to say about her but um she is um she's just adorable in my eyes so i love my lycoy um i got labor day weekend when she was seven weeks old now yeah the breeder we actually got her from is very big in the lycoy scene um, and she does actually breed them. Um, she breeds the Lycoy and then she doesn't do many Devons, but she does do the, De the Devon Rex. Is she a Rex? Yeah, she's a Devon Rex. The, uh, it's interesting because in her litter, um, the, she came out with like the curly coat and her sister came out with a curly coat, but the other two came out with sort of a very smooth coat and not much coat actually. Um, so yeah she's absolutely gorgeous so okay let's just have a look at some of these questions my guppy tank is a 20 gallon line with lots of plants i have guppies three amano shimp and a couple of nerites is using eco complete as a substrate oh what other fish could i put in there um if you're doing guppies with the fact that they're going to breed so much i probably wouldn't do much else but i mean you could do some maybe cory so you've got bottom swimming maybe bottom swimming would be better than putting something else that's going to middle or top swim because the guppies are going to do that uh, i just recently saw the breed of cat featured on a show called too cute she's adorable <laughs> well thank you i think she's absolutely gorgeous so um 
let's see. Uh, yeah, I saw your story. First thing I did was pointed my phone at my mum and went, what kind of cat is this? She had no idea either. She's so beautiful. Yeah, they are very, they are very rare. They originate in Devon, England, which of course is very fitting because we're from England. We're not from Devon, but we're from England. Um, and they were, um, they came about in about the 1950s, I think it is. Um, so they've been around a fair while. Um, but uh, she is just adorable. Uh, she's so cute. How old is she and what's her name? She is going to be 15 weeks on uh, Saturday, I think. Yeah, 15 weeks on Saturday. Her name is Lily and she has already been spayed. So before we even got her, she actually, um, the breeder spades. The most breeders will do that um, because they're trying to stop inbreeding because obviously there's very um there's very few of them um sort of i want to say around the world so they're trying to stop uh, the inbreeding um uh, my brother and his wife have a hairless sphinx named Tulula, and she is an absolute sweetheart so yeah um what's the new pet i've actually just taken her out it was a kitten um so for all those that, for all those that <laughs> guessed it was a leopard gecko like say going to be very disappointed um yeah it was a kit kitten so um but yeah we're absolutely thrilled with it absolutely thrilled with it oh thank you Nisi for putting the posts I think some of them have been um knocked off because I did do a full story about the you know because we we get the comment about you know adopt don't shop which I do totally agree with um, but in some instances, you're not able to do that. And for me, I can't just go to the shelter and choose any kitten. I have to have uh, one that I will not basically not be able to breathe over. So um, I think that post has actually gone because it was on stories. I did like a full thing about it. I did get a lot of messages of people saying that they didn't realise that there were hypoallergenic cats. And whilst she, most people can live with them not all people can so you know some people will have a reaction um i do will say i do have very severe allergies to cats so the fact that i've got no reaction at all is absolutely amazing and i'm i'm just beyond thrilled because uh, we absolutely adore her so um i'm really pleased about that um oh this chat's gonna dry i'm so sorry i have to keep going on the thing because the, ch the chat is um just keeps vanishing okay what medicine do you suggest for fin rot for my beta fish i have him in quarantine i would say are you sure first of all that it is um fin rot and not fin biting very often people think the fish has fin rot but it actually is fin biting uh, which basically means like the fins are somewhat shredded as opposed to the fin rot that has like the black edging all the way around usually if it's not severe then putting um almond leaves some aquarium salt and just doing like more regular water changes that will make um a big difference and um that usually will take care of it if not then you do need to look into um, some medications and i would just say do some research onto what you know sort of is the best for that but in most cases doing water changes almond leaves or catapa leaves whatever you want to call them um i would say um you could use that uh, what should i do if my goldfish has dropsy unfortunately that is actually what happened to belfin and um we were not successful we have never successfully been able to um cure dropsy um, and i know a few people have been able to but we have never been able to and that is sadly what um, ended up with him. He was doing really well with his swimming. Um, he did go through like a really bad spell with it. And <clears throat> excuse me, we came very close to having to euthanize him. And then all of a sudden he was doing amazing. And we went through a really, really good spell with him. He was eating great, no swimming issues whatsoever. And then we noticed that he'd started pine coning and that was actually what um, ended it for him so unfortunately so it's not something I can really give advice on because I haven't it's not something I've been able to treat successfully um, so I would say maybe go on some of the forums on Facebook there is a I think it's called goldfish keepers on Facebook they are very very knowledgeable um, and maybe some accounts on Instagram uh, you know look for for those as well um, but um, 
I, I think that you can do um, salt baths, but I'm not sure if it's aquarium or Epsom. I know it's one or the other. Um, I, I've got a feeling it's the Epsom, but again, I'm not certain. Um, so, like I say, I would I would definitely do research, and you know, like I say, I don't really want to give advice where, where I can't. Uh, give you correct information so um, I will see if she will come back in uh, James could you bring her back in or Brianna could you bring her back in oh it is Epsom salt okay I always I say I get the two confused when it comes to treatments I know the likes of with Finrot in like fish it's aquarium salt is better but I know that Epsom salt is better in some cases um, so I'm going to see if uh, they're going to bring her back in or whether she's too wild. She slept most of the afternoon. She was so running around like crazy all morning. And she was doing quality control checks when we were packing this morning because we had a load of orders to ship out. So she was doing the quality control of all that. And um, all right, so let's see. Is she, is she still? She's a wild child. Oh, she's still a wild child. So just very quickly again here she is again for those that may have just joined oh she's purring like crazy can you say hi to the peeps or are you too busy are you too busy hmm yeah did I get a puppy no we got a kitten surprisingly we got a kitten a, a pet we never ever thought we would ever get um and uh, <laughs> he's trying to amuse I know I know I know you want to go play She's a wild child, usually between, I want to say, 7 and about 10.30. Yes, you. You're a little wild child, aren't you? And then she just, um, she, <laughs> yeah, you're saying hi. She's so vocal. She talks all the time. Okay, you want to take her? Um, so, yeah, she has a wild, yeah, those ears, yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone says. Those ears. I think that's why when I did the um, the story on Instagram, um, uh, I want to her snap oh no she's just oh she's just so adorable it's interesting to me um how the coats differ so much because like I say in the litter there were two with the really curly wavies like hers and then there was two with like virtually no coat whatsoever um she's a Devon Rex um a Devon Rex and uh, the reason we got her just very quickly for those that are just joining us is because I'm extremely allergic to cats and these are supposed to be um okay for people with cat allergies now I say that for I say supposed to be because I don't want people to get the wrong idea um it uh like say not everyone is going to be good with them but from sort of everything I read all the research speaking to the breeder speak in fact speaking to several breeders actually um that um most of them said they actually started out on the journey with cats through having asthma or cat allergies or whatever so that was um that was a big thing for me um and uh i, I just can't believe that i have no issues whatsoever so i'm absolutely thrilled because i adore her so um it couldn't have worked out any better so i'm sure you'll be seeing videos on her and like say on instagram right now she's taken over her instagram because i am just doing so many um videos on her because she's just hilarious uh, her name is lily she's 14 nearly 15 weeks old in fact she goes for her vet check tomorrow um we had to the contract we had to sign a contract with her and uh, we have to have her in at the vets within five days for like a healthy pet exam and all that good stuff so uh, so she goes tomorrow so hopefully she's going to be she's going to be good so uh <laughs> lily just came from an emergency play session yeah she like say oh she goes crazy from around the 7 38 o'clock mark to about any time between 10 and 11 and then thankfully she just sleeps through the night which is uh, which is fantastic so um so we haven't got any more fish um that you haven't seen we've uh, fish we've been we sort of we sold an awful lot of fish uh, or a lot of the guppies so we only have two tanks right now we still have our three beta fish they're doing really well uh, we still have Callie, our goldfish. Um, that was very interesting because I really thought that when um, Belfin went that she would uh, she'd be quite sad. But it was interesting watching her a few days before we even knew there was anything wrong. Um, she, she seemed to start distancing herself. I'm sorry, the lighting's so bad in here. Let me see if I open this a little whether it makes a difference without it being too glary um she seemed to start distancing herself from him 
which I thought was really interesting. She obviously knew something was going to happen or something was happening, and but she's been so like she's been great since he's gone. I thought that you know she might sort of get somewhat depressed and not swim around, and but she hasn't. She is eating wonderfully, and um, she seems really really happy. Um, she's very interactive, which I mean she always was, but she's you know she's very interactive. And um, so, you know, I'm pleased that we probably are not going to get another one uh, right now. Um, they're in the 20 gallon long and I feel that a 20 gallon long is just not big enough for two. So certainly for the time being, we're, we're not going to get another one. Um, our 125 gallon we still haven't set up, so that's uh, stayed as it was. And the 40 gallon looks amazing. Um, we've had several videos go crazy on Instagram with that one. Um, so I had a cat and dog for years. I had a cat for years and our dog got along fine. We had to have the cat put to sleep. Oh, stop. Go. Oh, the chat's just gone again. Come back, come back, come back. Uh, let me see. I had a cat. Uh, we had to have the cat put to sleep because she was having seizures. Our dog now has no tolerance for any other cat. Yeah, thankfully our dog is, I mean, he's old. Um, he's pretty slow now. At first, she was a little, um, you know, she was a little wary of him. And she, I mean, she's still cautious of him now, but she will go up to him and sniff him. And they do go nose to nose. And I think half the time he's oblivious she's even there. Um, because, like I say, he's pretty old and he's pretty slow on his feet. And I will say, though, that he has taken to playing with her toys. I've got a hilarious video. In fact, I must put that up on Instagram. Um, of him playing with one of her toys, uh, one that she's right now not interested in, but he just thinks it's absolutely wonderful. All right, let me have a drink of water and get the chat back. Uh, thank you for supporting me. Yes, the breeder, I have to say, I spoke with several. Uh, I was very fortunate because initially um, I thought that we would probably have to go quite a distance and I really didn't want to ship. I mean, I know that, you know, dogs and cats are shipped all the time all around the world. Um, but I really didn't want to have to do that if I really didn't need to. And we were really fortunate in, I found two very reputable breeders. Um, what, both of them approximately an hour, an hour and a half away. And uh, one didn't have anything available till later this year and um, that wouldn't have really fit our timing um, because we're hoping to be able to go away towards the end of the year but oh, we'll have to wait and see with everything that's going on and uh, the other one had some but I honestly didn't think she had them available and we were we were chatting backwards and forwards I asked so many questions I'm surprised she didn't get sick of me I asked that many questions um, and she was just fantastic she just answered everything she was very responsive and it it was it was just amazing and so it turned out that one of the litters that she had um there were some still available and so um we put our name down and we had to wait i think it was i want to say four maybe five weeks um after putting our name down um for her to become available because they don't uh, they don't usually rehome them until they're between about 13 to 15 weeks old because they have to be spayed uh, before they leave so um we we had quite a wait for her um but yeah she was she was a great breeder um i would definitely recommend her and um she's yeah she was fantastic and even now you know sort of because we're first time cat parents i mean very different to a dog and um you know even now i'll message and ask questions and um, and she's straight back with answers and suggestions or whatever, you know, or if there's something I'm sort of concerned about, she'll just, you know, put my mind at rest or whatever. So she's been great. The aftercare has been wonderful. And she said any time, you know, if it's years down the line, even any time. So the interaction is my favorite part of goldfish, especially fancies. They are like water puppies. <laughs> they definitely are. They definitely are. Callie will just basically follow you up and down and up and down. Um, Oh, that's not a bad way to, I've been on a wait list for six months. Wow, my goodness, that is a long time. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people have waited a really long time. I think we were just really fortunate because I know that she was having, I think she was having two, I think it was either two or three litters at the same time and then there were, there were going to be no more. 
and I think that um, the ones like behind the litter like behind that are a bit younger than than Lily um, I think they've all gone well in fact they have all gone um, so we were very very fortunate that um, you know that she was available um, so you know we looked for it was I researched for a good well, it was back in November I started looking so um, and then I found her in I think it was March I think it was sometime in March um, so yeah so they're a cat you definitely have to be patient for but Nisi I am telling you it is so worth it because they're just oh they're so comical and I think what I like about them is that they, they are very much I mean we I love poodles because they're so intelligent so I want to say needy um you know but they're obedient and you know they're easy to train and all that sort of stuff and basically the Devon Rex is like a poodle <laughs> in a cat's body basically um and the coat to match as well so um so yeah all right let's see um uh, oh, by the way, I never thought I would like snails, but I got a mystery snail. His name is Turbo, and I love watching him. Yes, yeah, snails are fun to watch. Right now, we don't have many mystery snails. Um, we sold most of them, and the ones that we have right now are not breeding, so I am probably going to get some um, new ones in once all this craziness is going on, because shipping is so unpredictable at the moment that I'm not too comfortable having any shipped in, so... Um, I'm going to have to wait, so we're not going to have mystery snails for a long time. Now, ram's horns, on the other the other hand, oh, if you guys saw the video we posted a while back, um, that we we had hundreds and hundreds. We weren't sure how many were in the tank, but I will say that we sold well over 400 in, I think it was about two weeks, and the tank is still pretty full. I mean, it's got a lot less in, but it's still pretty full, so... Um, but I've taken them off for the time being. I have got people waiting on them, but just with the way the shipping's working right now, um, I'm going to maybe give it another few weeks and then we'll 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 do it again. So, oh, let's get this chat up again. Um, I've heard they want to supervise everything you do and tell you every thought they have. Oh, <laughs> that is so true. She is so vocal. Um, she me I say meows all the time and you know sort of it's just like having a conversation and yes I mean today we were packing and we I was um, packing like the clamps that we have for the dividers and I've got my box on my knee and she was just wanting to like rake through them and be involved in it and and then I had a stack of dividers on the, the, the top and she wanted oh she wanted to to be in all that and then yesterday when my son was doing all the drilling um, when he'd finished doing that uh, she got up on the table and she was playing with the screwdriver so she we, we said that she's our little quality control um kitty so she, yeah she's she's been into everything but i think that's good for them to be so inquisitive um i think it keeps them it keeps them occupied have you ever seen a mystery snail try to eat a shrimp i had to put that one in a separate tank um no i mean i was a, i was um i've lived with loads of shrimp uh, a dead shrimp yes i mean they will clean up um, but no, I've not actually seen them eat um, live shrimp, so I'm not quite sure whether maybe it was sickly. Uh, I do think that that would be unusual. I would say, what are you feeding your snail? That it's maybe going after shrimp. Um, are you specifically feeding them anything? Um, because I am finding that it's happening more and more. We had somebody uh, contact us about two weeks after having some of our snails. It was the ram's horns and said that um, they, they'd all died. And I said, well, what had you been feeding them? And they said, nothing. And it was like, well, if you don't feed them, <laughs> they're going to find something to eat. Or if there's absolutely nothing to eat, they're going to die. So you do need to feed them um, as in a specific diet, not just leftover fish food and things like that. You do need to feed them a specific diet. So make sure that you, you're actually doing that. Um, all right, guys, I am going to end it here. I'm not even sure how to do that, but I am going to end it here. Um, this was just a quick video to introduce Lily and um, show you guys to her. So I'm going to um, to find out how I end it. So thank you so much for joining. Um, I know it's been a while since we've done any videos, so I do appreciate you guys um, stopping by to find out what our new pet was. And um, like I say, if you're not following us on Instagram, it's Life with Pets 72 and there you will get to see an awful lot of um, 
uh, the pets, you know, all the fish and all that good stuff as well. So, um, all right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.